So we're here with Mark Champneys, and uh, we found quite the ironic metaphor for the impossible gospel. Mark, will you explain it for us? Yes, this is quite a word picture. We look here at the hand sanitizer in Manti Park in the little porta potties here. It says, apply to clean, dry hands. Um, isn't this interesting? This is very much like Mormonism, that you have to be clean before you get clean. In order to obtain the forgiveness of sins, you have to stop sinning. And so we, we talk to Mormons and they say, well, that's, that's very difficult, but that's what we have the atonement for. And I'll say, what we have the atonement for, that's what we're talking about, is how to get the atonement. You have to have the atonement to get the atonement? You have to have clean hands in order to get your hands clean? If your hands are dirty, you can't get them clean unless you have another hand sanitizer to clean your hands, and then you come to this hand sanitizer, and this cleans only if you already have clean hands. So I guess that's kind of the way Mormonism works. Hmm. So it's kind of like saying, it's okay that I can't receive, that I can't fulfill the requirements for repentance, that's why we have repentance. Exactly. And that's, it's okay that I can't fulfill the requirements for receiving the atonement. Hey, that's why we have the atonement. That's why we have the atonement, so we can get the atonement. A little circular. Yes. Hopeless. Circular reasoning. And this is when, when we, we talk to, to Mormons about this, and their, their brains start to go in circles, and we, sometimes we see a little bit of smoke coming out of their ears, I think, and it's a blue screen. Have you ever seen that in your computer? Blue screen does not compute, and then they have to reboot and then everything's okay. Again. So what new operating system do they, we want them to have? <laughs> um, well, it's called uh, Bible 1.0. <laughs> Free grace received by faith. Absolutely, by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And he does all of it. And you know that, uh, that verse in uh, Alma 11 that says that he cannot save us in our sins? Where else will we ever be? Hmm. Is there anyone that will be out of their sins so that they can be saved from their sins? It doesn't make any sense. It's the hand sanitizer syndrome. So God indeed can save us in our sins. It's the only place we will ever be. If we can't be saved in our sins, we can't be saved at all.